This is Wednesday, July 1st. Uh, we're pretty slow at work, so Gail and I took a vacation day today. Get to come out here and do a few more things. Um, we got the walls up, the bathroom walls. So now we know what exactly what we're working with. We got plenty of room left over for the kitchen and everything, so we're real happy. Uh, I think it's going to work out. We're, things are moving right along. Uh, I got a few odds and ends to finish up for framing. And we're good to go. I'm done. I'm going to run uh, two by sixes. to the outside uh, what do your trees look like by the way oh, oh yeah our trees are growing but we got to get a weed eater out here to uh, uh, weed eat between them because if I ran over them with a lawnmower I would never get to come out here again I would be banned from St. Bernard Acres you'd be banned from the lawnmower that's and, for sure Unless I was building something, I wouldn't be allowed out here. But, we mentioned in another video that we were sitting on the porch watching hummingbirds go at her flowers. So, on our way out today, Gail picked up a hummingbird feeder, a couple of them. And we've been sitting on the porch watching the hummingbirds hit it Look, he's at the flowers. and he's still at the flowers too I can't find him oh, he's in the tree above you of course he's gonna go to the, the see if he goes feeder. to the feeder I'll hang on a second see if maybe he'll go to that feeder because that's what they've been doing they sit in the tree and then they come to there we go Wow, I can't believe we got one. Yeah, finally. Oh, man. I mean, it wasn't up 30 minutes, and they already realized what it was, and we're coming over to it. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Got one on video. So they work. <laughs> and I love that design. The uh, They look like ball mason jars. I mean, it really works out here. It really works well. And no other birds can get into it. Just those skinny, tiny beaks can get inside those little, little 
fake flowers they got there. And Gale Red, and obviously it works. Instead of buying that colored feeder stuff at the store that's got chemicals in it, she mixed two cups of water and how much sugar? One cup of sugar to three cups of water. Oh, one cup of sugar to three cups of water. And put that in the jars. And they've been sucking that stuff down. So we don't need to put the chemical stuff in there. But we actually had a day that is not supposed to rain. Um, oh, and we saw the baby deer. We saw the baby oh, deer. yeah. Uh, while we were sitting here, we saw a baby deer, a fawn. Uh, what would you say, maybe six months old? I don't know. It was only, show them again. Only about that tall. When uh, running across, you see that tree right there, went running all the way across the property, down the little hill there over to the neighbor's property. But a little baby deer could not believe it. Uh, but we do get to see plenty of wildlife out here. It's pretty neat. We're going to so enjoy this when uh, we get to move out here permanently. But... A lot of butterflies. We have an apple. Don't let that thing go in the house. It went in the house. There it came back out. Uh, plenty. Of, we got an apple tree back behind the barn. It's loaded with apples. Uh, yeah, that thing is loaded. So, what? Uh, plenty of apples. Just off the one tree that we know of. There may be more in you know, that mess we got back there that still has to be cleared out. But, that's our uh, July update from, the, July 1st update from the tiny house out at St. Bernard Acres. We'll be with you later. Bye.